we are on course. The fact that in terms of our audits, we are no more having those spooks we used to have. The fact that we are no more having those scandals we used to have on the lease environment and so on. I mean, we've completed our asset register. Remember, we're talking about more than 100,000 properties and pieces of land. And uh, we've completed that register. It might not be 100%, but it's 99 or 90 something percent uh, up to scratch. All along, we didn't know where our properties are and so on and so on and so on. So we think, therefore, that we are on course. But what is even more satisfying, it's when you're able to recruit these engineers, young ones, when you're able to have these architects, surveyors, project managers, um, all these technical people, when you're starting to have that in the property, we're also investing in the property. We, 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 we are starting a program with the University of Pretoria and uh, with UJ, training, diverting some of the young people into, into the property studies, because that is also a very scarce skill um, when, when you're talking about, about the issues of property and so on. I mean, uh, we normally make this example that um, Growth Point, the biggest property company in, in the country, Public Works, if you look at its scope of property management, it's more than 10 times growth, uh, growth point. I mean, look at how many people are running Growth Point, what are their professional expertise, and look at Public Works. So we have to reinforce, to run that department. You need properly skilled people in, 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 in those areas. We are on course. But it's not going to be an event. It is a process. I can safely say our seven years is ending next year. We are on the fifth or sixth year now. So as it ends, we will do a proper assessment. We'll be able to say we, we, we are above 60% of our target. But of course, it must be incremental and be taken forward um, because the issue of it continuous improving, it's never ending in, in any department. So I can say that we're starting to be comfortable with the professionals which we are, we, we, we are employing. But come to the regulation side, because we're regulating the, 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 the construction industry. The legislation which we're using, it's an old legislation. We, 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 we're, going to, we're starting a process now, we're focusing led by, it's going to be led by the Deputy Minister Jeremy Cronin, the reviewing of the legislation which is regulating the built environment. That's our next legislation, it's a process. We have already started internally. Okay. Then now we have to engage the stakeholders, they have to make submissions, we have to do the drafting, we must have a lot of workshops and so on. But our intention is that by the end of this particular financial year, we must have a draft of at least two legislation, one for the Council for the Built Environment, one for the Construction Industry Development uh, Board. But also, we're talking about an overarching uh, public, works at, uh, public works legislation. We don't have it. So these are the three which we're looking at. But in the main, we want to first track these two.